Come on, man, man. Wait, wait, wait. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Bone dry, Steve. He's in the red. We should mention the guy in the electro. Oh, gee, almost. It wasn't a double knockdown. It was a knockdown as Bundridge went down and Powell slipped. And it's ruled no knockdown. Wow. I oh, a, le a massive left hand by Powell. And Bundridge is out of it. He is out of it. Well, he was the neck. He went down three times in 20 seconds. I've never seen anything like it. Successful move by Rockman there, but he still doesn't have his legs. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, get up. Come on, let's go. One of the questions in some fights about Rockman has oh. to be stamina. Right hand puts Rockman on the floor right next to me. Right next to me. Right next to me. And he doesn't look floor. like he's going to get up. No, he isn't. He he's may. not going to get up anytime soon. Let's just be sure we can make room for medical personnel. And Dr. Polito is right here. He may have landed on his head. He did. He did, Larry. I tried my best to prevent it, but was unable to stop him from landing on his head. Let's get this out of the way. Dr. Dominic Coletto right here with Rockman. There is a battle royal going on out here in the crowd. The doctor is asking The Rock if he knows where he is, and he does. He's answering the questions correctly. He knows the round. He knows the opponent. But he went through the ropes, across the table, onto the floor. Richardson is declared the winner, but London still feels bouncy and keeps right on fighting. If you're having trouble getting excited about the upcoming Riddick Bow Larry Donald heavyweight fight, this could change your mind. I can't believe this man. He's, he's involved in something there. And he wants. Look at this. He's absolutely going crazy. Stop the fight. Shut up. Don't talk like that. Stop it. Stop it. Don't talk like stop that. It. Stop it. Come on, you fuck you. You're going to fight and you're going to win this fight. You're going to win this fight. You're going to win. You ain't quitting. You're going to win this fight. Cut it out. Stop it. Oh, have it easy. No. Hey. You stand there! Stay there! Stay there! Stop it, Andre! Stop it! Stop it! Don't you, you fucking do this! You're gonna disgrace yourself! You gotta get in your corner, Andrew. What? He quit. He quit. What are you doing? Last second, the bell's gonna ring! I'm telling you right now, Soto's excited, he's upset, and I'll tell you what, 
It was a better round considering the first round was on his but, but you won't know until you taste the power of a puncher like a Tyson, a puncher like a Tua. What you have inside you, and now we know Ranger Gallardo, will not deal with it. Will not deal with it well. And you hear the crowd reacting. I said I'd be real surprised if this got into round four, and I was not wrong. It's just distraught with this decision by their man, Andrew Gallardo. He wants to get the, the heck out. He's coming near us now, gets away. People are throwing things at him. They're throwing popcorn, soda, beer, everything that they can. Unbelievable sight here at the Palace of Auburn Hills. A lot of being escorted off as fans throw things at him after he quits at the end of two rounds. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. On your, short, on, your short, excuse me, on your shield? Okay, but I cannot buy quitting. Well, it's still okay. He has completely fallen out of those rankings. And going into that Ruiz fight, he looked to be in the most comfortable place in his career. He was on a roll. He had won seven in a row by knockout. And now, Prince! Princely with the first punch! And that looks like it Over. is it! Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. This fight is over. The referee counted him out. James Thunder, known as a quick starter, but we didn't think it would be that quick. Said he had to come up with something very big, and I think he did in record fashion. James Thunder, first punch, cracking Crawford Grimsley. Crawford Grimsley came in tonight's fight trying to prove something. Prove that he was a big man. He could take a punch. He was going to prove that he could deliver a punch. The concern, James Thunder. Yeah, he's still, look, he's still punching. He's still trying to fight. Crawford Grimsley is confused. He's not quite sure what he's supposed to be doing. He's got his hands up. He thinks the fight is still, is still going on. Here's what happened. Boom, no, right on the side of the head, the very first punch. You land the first punch in a fight. Don't go out there and mess around. Crack, dragging. Vladimir does not look amused, and I think the reason is that some of the water which Chisora was drinking just prior to those introductions being made, well, right up to the start of this fight, Chisora is just seen to be trying to pull every conceivable stroke. But he keeps standing right in front of him, and he keeps paying the price. And Galata loaded a right hand up there and looked for a one-punch knockout and just missed. Whenever Galata throws the combination, the thing is going good for him. He's just hammering Bo in close. Just hammering it. That was another low blow. Yeah, Down goes Bo, and that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. Great. It's a disqualification. That's, it's time for someone to understand that you're going to have to keep the rules in this business. And now there's a fight in the ring that's been started by some of Bo's handlers who went after Lou Duva, and somebody's going to get hurt in there. Somebody's going to get hurt. And there are more people trying to go in. And so don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. They'll stop it. Don't uh, get back. Go back where you'll see the talk. Get on back. Now. My microphone got knocked off my head. Don't do it, son. Don't do There's that. There's danger all over the place here. This is a very desperate situation. Lou Duva's in trouble. Lou Duva's in trouble on the ring mat. Duva's down and hurt. Do They're lifting Duva out of the ring. They're going to cool it out. You know Duva it's, trying it's to help right. his dad out. Uh, this is it's just an awful right. looking it's situation right. in there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wait a minute. It'll be okay. George Foreman. George Foreman trying to be the peacemaker. Don't do it. What are you doing? Do hey, what are you doing, doing guys? Fight. What are you going to accomplish look, in there? Look. Look. Now the fight has the fight has spread off the ring mat. George Foreman doing his best to stop it. Two more guys going into the ring.
Shoemaker. I've never been involved in a more personally terrifying situation than that one. This ring has been stormed by thugs and hooligans. Obviously, emotions were flowing high on both sides. We're very concerned about the status of Lou Duva, who appeared to be in extremely, extremely dire physical straits. He was taken away on a stretcher. In fact, Duva's, Duva's being taken out on a gurney right now. I predict that tonight somebody will die at ringside from shock. What's going on in Sonny's mind at this point? Well, I think Sonny now is beginning to worry now. At least his corner is beginning to worry now because I, I think that they feel now that, that Clay have all the comfort that he needs and go home to beat, defeat our Sonny. They might be stopping it. That might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring or get him over there if you can. He's throwing kisses to everybody. Back from busting out here. Oh, wait, I don't have a mark on my face. Yeah. And I upset Sonny Mistress, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. I told the world. I talk to God every day. This guy's with me. Came out of your judgment, Sonny. I shook up the world. 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 You must listen to me. I am the greatest.